All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. This is the Brick Building Kids, and what we got for you today is a uh, short video on how to create and digitize an image for your sewing machine, as well as how to embroider a baseball bag. So what we have today is I have a Brother SC400 um, sewing machine, and we have a DeMarini fat bag. So you see the fat bag, we have a detachable a detachable face. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, take take the team's logo and we're going to put a last name on here as well. So uh, this is very cool. We've done a lot of these for our teams and we're going to go through and show you guys exactly how we do that today. So hopefully you can do that yourself. So uh, here we go. All right, guys, now first we're gonna go over some uh, prerequisites for this video. So um, again, we have we have the Brother 400 SE sewing machine. Um, if you found this video, I, if you have other brothers, this should work, um, but I, I, would, I would exercise a little bit of caution with some of the things. So um, in addition to the Brother, you do need a hoop. We have a four by eight sewing hoop. Um, we have a ton of extra bobbins. Bobbins are super helpful, especially if your your decals or your logos are very large. So you will want to um, pre-wind a couple extra bobbins. Um, we, we've got the extra string. Um, we're not going to use all this but here for our one video, but we're going to end up doing, I think, at least 12 of these. So we will end up using a lot of them. And uh, like I said, we're going to need... Um, our bat bag, we chose DeMarini bat bags because they do have this removable flap, so it was, that was very convenient for us to do. We have worked through a couple of these. Um, and on the computer, you are going to need the application called SoArt. It does have a free trial, you can try it out. Um, and this is actually an older laptop, so we just downloaded the trial so we can show you exactly how that works on the trial. So we're gonna start with digitizing the image. All right guys, so we're gonna start by, by opening SoArt. Okay, so we are still using the demo version. Okay, so we've got our blank canvas. Now, what we're going to do is we have a single color logo that we're going to be using. So it's the Bulldog. We're going to open it up. Okay, now we've got our single color Bulldog that we're going to stitch our image. Click stitch. A stitch list for this image was previously created. Do you wish to reload it? So we're gonna reload it. And if you don't have a previous stitch image, what you'll wanna do is click auto sew. And then we'll have all of these um, sewing patterns selected here. So um, so here we selected the image. It selected all of, all of the white here that it wants to sew, but we don't actually wanna sew those. So we're gonna select here to delete the white color. And we're just gonna go through here and delete all of our whites. Now if you can see in here it's it's pulling out all of that all the white stitching. Because we just we just want one single color. We're gonna control the color within the sewing machine. So this may seem a little bit monotonous but the complexity that these sewing images create, that that is in these sewing images, is pretty intense. So let's finish deleting these colors. All right, cool. So now all we have here is our bulldog, our our black. Bulldog pattern. All right, so we should be able to hit OK, and it should generate our files. Okay, do you want to save the embroidery file? So yes. So this is the digitization of the file. Okay, I'm just gonna save the bulldog here. But what what we do is we save it as a bitmap. So there's already one here saved. So I'll say this is Bulldog 2. Save it. Okay, and now it's going to ask you for your PES file. The PES file is what you are transferring back to Brother to create. So we're going to save that here. 
Okay, and now we've created our bulldog embroidery pattern there. So as you can see, it was successfully saved. All right, so now our interaction within the app itself is pretty much done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect, connect the sewing machine. So we're gonna go turn that bad boy on. All right, now this may seem simple, but our power button is right here, flip that switch. Now you'll notice we do not use the foot pedal for this at all. So our USB is right here. And we just find an open USB spot on our laptop. All right, so when you guys connect the Brother sewing machine to the computer, you're gonna notice that you have a new drive connected. So ours is the USB D drive. So there's nothing in this folder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that Bulldog file that we saved and I'm gonna drag it in here. Okay, so we've drug it in here. It should be found on the sewing machine. So let's switch to the sewing machine. All right, so I see our interface on the sewing machine. The carriage of the embroider unit will move. Okay. Okay, so now we wanna to go to the USB interface. Okay, as you can see, here's our Bulldog. So, sweet. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to use the loop I told you guys about in the beginning of the video, and we are going to set the flap from the bat bag on here. All right, so this bat bag, there is a Velcro slot right here, or Velcro strip, so we're gonna flip that up. You can see our, our zipper is hidden. Take this off completely. All right, so we have our flap. Now, realistically, this should be the hardest part of of this process, is fitting this in the loop. So, so in the beginning of the video, I showed you guys all the stuff you're gonna need. Let's make one one addition to that. So, there is a stabilizer. So, anytime you're using your sewing machine, you need to make sure you have stabilizer under your loop. All right. So, we have take this. Now we need to cut this to size, right? We're gonna make sure that it fits within the loop. Okay, cut this here. Okay. Okay, now when you attach this here, we are gonna have the bag face side up. And we are going to put our backing underneath our bag. And we need to somehow fit this in here. All right, let's make sure. Okay, so you will see that there are little arrows here. The arrows need to line up. So the arrows are the top. verify this okay so yeah the arrows are the top all right so let's let's start over here all right so we want to make sure this is nice and center in here okay that way our bulldog's not like all off center what do you think all right okay so arrows line up at the top. And you do want to make sure this is nice and tight. Right? So at this point, we're going to attach this to our loop. Right? Okay. Change views here. Okay, so we need to angle it down to get it under the needle. Does this need lifted up? Yes, this can lift up. Okay. All right. So, guys, you'll see here 
your loop will attach over here. There are two brackets to stick this in, okay? Now I mentioned before about the bobbin. Um, we are, we should have enough bobbin in here already, so we're not gonna go through threading that uh, for you guys. So if you need any help, let us know and we'll, we'll see if we can upload another video for you guys. Now, okay, so we need to ready the sewing machine now. All right, now the next phase of this is we are going to interact on the interface on the brother machine. So we are going to click on the bulldog. Okay, so our bulldog is highlighted. We're gonna click on the pocket. Okay, so this is gonna let us, it's gonna let us adjust the position of our loop. Okay, so we're gonna take and, okay, we're gonna hit adjust. Layout. Now, where you position it is at the center of the of the bulldog. All the way up. All the way up. So, it's just so it's at the line. Oh, it's, okay. All right. So you guys can see the bulldog was actually moving there. So, she, so what? My assistant has informed me is we want to keep the bulldog at the line. So it is centered on the unit. See the output of that square. So it's centered there. What we're doing is we're leaving space here at the bottom so we can put the name of, uh, of our player on here. So, all right. Okay. So you see that? So there was a hook back here that we needed to push down. This unit was red the entire time until she pushed that down. So she pushed that down and, uh, we are ready to sew. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to time lapse through some of this, but we're going to watch it go, and then we're going to fast forward. So, at this point, guys, all you need to do is click that green button, and we are rocking and rolling. Okay, here we go. first round of the bulldog so as you can see here the bulldog is done now we are going to keep keep it in the loop and we are going to go back to the computer and we're going to add a last name to this so we can personalize this a little bit more for our player um, I think it adds a really nice touch to something that is ex exceptional to give to these kids so um, let's move over to the computer now all right now at this point we're gonna actually cut the thread so Okay, now we're gonna go back to the computer. So, we're gonna go into paints. Okay, paint, it's a pretty, it's a pretty basic program. Pretty much everyone should have paint on, on their computer. So, we're going to add a last name to this. So we're gonna go click the font. We're gonna type in our name of our player. Okay, and Okay, so we have put his last name in. Okay, we are going to use the select tool. We're gonna to select only his name. Okay, and then we are gonna crop. So the image is just his name. And we're gonna go file, save as. We're gonna save this as Turner. 
bitmap. Okay, save. Turner BMP already exists. Okay. All right, so we're gonna close out of paint. We no longer need paint. We're gonna go back into SoArt. Okay, so in SoArt. Okay, so we're gonna go new. Okay, so we're gonna bring in, we're gonna bring in our Turner bitmap. That good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, we're gonna bring this in. Stitch image. We're gonna go no. We're gonna actually do this ourselves. So we're gonna go select the whole image. I don't have to do that? Okay. Alright, so we're gonna delete the white color so it's only gonna be black. So we're gonna go okay. Do you want to save the embroidery file? Yes. All right, we have a couple rounds with this one. Okay, final. Okay, Turner final. Perfect, so we have the Turner file saved. So now we're gonna do the same thing we did before. We already have the brother connected to the computer. So we're gonna go removal drive do I need to keep the Bulldogs in here? Doesn't matter, okay. All right, so Turner Final. We're gonna drag Turner Final in here. Okay, and I dragged the wrong Turner Final. So you do not wanna drag the BMP files. You wanna drag the PES files, so make sure, make sure you're dragging the right one. So this one is the PES file. Moved it over here the brother will not receive anything other than the PES file. So now we have that. Let's step over to the brother. All right, so our stitch interface looks just like it did before with the Bulldog. So we're gonna go hit that. Delete the selected pattern, yes. Okay, so we're gonna go here. We're gonna retrieve the images. Here is our Turner. Hit the pockets. We're going to adjust layout. Now we're going to drag the turner to the bottom because if you remember, we put the bulldog all the way up at the top. Should I move it up a little bit? So it kind of looks like a blob here, but um, just like it did the last time, it doesn't capture all the pixels in this little little display. So we're going to hit start, and then we're going to go. So you ready to get started? Okay, here we go. So we're going to take this off here. Okay. Okay, so we raise that. Okay. Okay, so we got an angle to take the, this off the hoop. All right, now here we go. Now we're just going to, we're going to remove with some 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 needles and some snips we're going to clean this up but we've got a super awesome embroidery and this is really nice this is so so good so um, guys if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below we hope this has been helpful um, if you guys don't have a brother embroidery or sewing machine you know make sure to pick one up we've included links to all of the things that we've used today um, within the video link. So uh, do appreciate you watching and tuning in. Have a great day and thanks for watching.